Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Matomo in use with uh, Google Data Studio. I'm not very fond of the idea of sending data to uh, Google Data Studio, but it has been asked by many clients, so <clears throat> let's uh, let's try to explain how to how to make it work. So there's no connectors between uh, Matomo and Google Data Studio, so we need to find a way to make this connector. And uh, one way to do it is uh, by using uh, another services of Google named Google Spreadsheets. So uh, Google Spreadsheets will in fact hold up the file uh, that we want to use. Uh, so to see over here, let's imagine that we want to do this graph. Okay, the one that you can see uh, over here, we want to make that within uh, within Google Data Studio. What we're going to do is that we're going to click over here, we're going to select the CSV format and we just copy and paste the link which is over here. Once done, uh, you just go within uh, Google Data Studio and you just uh, do a function, import data. Then here you insert, in fact, the, the URL. Here, what you could technically do in order to overcome uh, the fact that the data will not be up to date is that you can put a date in the future. Uh, for example, here, the 30th of um, November, as you can see, it's the 26th of November. So this date has not been yet, uh, did not exist yet. But as a result, I won't get uh, data over here, which is, in my case, which is a good thing. Uh, then I want to play with visit and unique visitor and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, additional stuff that you want to do is that over here you want to add this given parameter. You see this one convert to Unicode equals zero because if you don't, you'll get something crappy like this. If you do it like this, oops, you will get, as you can see, special character over here, which is going to mess up all your spreadsheet. And so you don't want this. So you're going to just append uh, this given parameter okay uh, then you start to be happy because the as you can see the data is the one that you want once done uh, you go within uh, your uh, google uh, data studio you connect it to the spreadsheet which is nothing complicated and then you're going to get uh, all those uh, metrics and dimensions over here uh, next of course you don't want to get the action here you want to get the visits so you're going to go and pick up the visits Actions, blah, blah, blah. Where are my number of visits? Visits. Yes, visits. I'm going to change that out to this one. I'm going to kick out the actions. And now I guess I'm going to get the same graph as I used to have. So here I should be around 6,000 visits um, all the time, almost 6,000 visits. So I guess that this report is correct and that's it. Uh, that's everything that I wanted to show you with how to integrate Matomo to Google Data Studio thanks to Google Spreadsheet.